Oh, yeah, that was low cash right there with Feels Like a Party. And and I'm telling you, this weekend is going to be an awesome show. Uh, we got the guys from low cash coming out uh, Saturday to do a Heroes Tribute concert. And I think we got somebody on the line. Who is on the line right now with us? Hey, it's uh, the boys from low cash. It's the boy. Is, is it Preston and Chris or just Preston? You got both of us, brother. Oh, Preston, what color is your hair today? <laughs> My hair is probably. I might. I might do a little red for the Buccaneers game. D- there sure. you day. Hey, there you go. That's a good choice. I think the Bucks are going to go two and two this year again. I think it's going to be a double Super Bowl. Jacksonville though is looking pretty good. Jacksonville finally got a. I mean, hey, Urban Myers. What can you say? I'm a high state boy, so you know I got to root for them too. But uh, yeah, it's going to be all good. How you guys doing, man? The last time I seen you guys was 2018 at uh, the uh, Suwannee River Jam. Man, it's been a minute. Hasn't it? It's it's been a minute, and you guys just lived not too far from me. You guys got to call me. We'll go fishing sometime or hang out. You know, I don't mind driving there to come and see you. <laughs> Let's do it, baby. Let's do it. Hey, listen, so we got this weekend coming up, September 11th. It's a big tribute um, for the heroes. Uh, tell us a little bit about it. What do you guys got planned for it? Uh, what are you going to be singing? Uh, it's a big to-do. It's, you know, for our our first responders and our veterans from uh, 9-11. And, of course, it's the 20th uh, anniversary. So uh, what you guys got planned for it? Go ahead, Chris. Man, we got a lot of new songs we're going to bring to the table. Um, just, just expect us to come in there and rock it, man. You know, anything we could do for our military and our veterans and, and our first responders, we're all about it. Always have been and always will be. And I'm telling you, Saturday, it's going to be a blast. We're going to have everybody smiling, everybody up, everybody jumping around. Uh, just good times, man. You know, great music. You know, we'll, of course, we'll play the hits and then some new stuff and maybe add a little rock and roll in there, too. So now um, being OK, let's let's talk a little bit about this COVID stuff. You know, everybody's been locked down for last year and a half. What have you guys been doing to keep your time? Of course, no, I, I've seen your videos. I know you've been hanging out with family. Oh, I got to say, Preston, congratulations. You and your wife just had an anniversary. Congratulations, buddy. Yes, yes, congrats. He, he, he has not kicked me out yet. <laughs> so I'm, I'm feeling victorious right now. But, hey, that's a good thing. As long as she's not kicking you out, you know, that's 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 a plus. So, um, but the man could- I, I, exactly, exactly. So, uh, what have you guys been doing? I know you've been kind of kicking around a little bit. No music uh, talks are about maybe a new album. I know you're working on right now. Is there anything you can tell us about it? Yeah, we've been writing like crazy, you know. Uh, you asked what we've been doing during the quarantine. I tell you what, we jumped on that Zoom thing and uh, and we and we hooked up a bunch of writers, uh, even in London, uh, Miami. LA and a bunch in Nashville too you know none of us could get together and we just wrote our butts off and we piled up a bunch of good songs uh we whittled it down to a little pile that we went into the studio just recently and we cut four or five of them and uh we're feeling real good about it man we've got some songs that uh we'll play for you on Saturday when we get there and get your opinion on it and see uh what do you think will be the next single you know we'd love to pick your brain and find out so you'll you'll get the inside listen this weekend. Well, if you pick my brain, you ain't gonna find much. You know, I'm getting old. The older I get, the less I know, or at least I try. I try not to know because it's that's better for me <laughs> as it goes. But um, definitely, I, I know you guys have been doing some collaboration too. Uh, tell us a little bit about the guys that you collabed from Australia. They sound pretty cool. Oh uh, yeah, the Wolf Brothers, man. They're they're good buddies of ours. They asked us to do a uh, thing for them on in a song, you know. And we did it, and it went all the way to number one. It was like three weeks number one in Australia. Yeah. And we'll probably have them over here in the States, you know, in 2022, do a couple shows with us. But uh, we call ourselves, when we're together, we're the Wolf Pack. The Wolf, that's that's cool. That sounds, yeah, that, that, that sounds perfect. What, um... Now we got we got the uh, the the event this weekend. Uh, any plans for a tour that comes wrapping around through Florida again anytime soon? Of course, the holidays are coming. I mean, shoot, the year is pretty much gone now. So I mean, we're looking forward to twenty twenty two and hopefully get out of all this mess and uh, get back to uh, you know doing the things that we'd like to do. Um, does it look like a big tour maybe coming in twenty twenty two for uh, Florida and other states? Yeah, for sure. You know we. Uh we're putting this project together called Woods and Water. I don't even think we're supposed to talk about it, but <laughs> good. You heard it first, right here. <laughs> you heard it first, right here. Uh, it's called Woods and Water. 
we've got the tour. We've got a big national sponsor coming on, um, possibly a TV show on the, on a really big network. Oh, and, nice. Uh, the kind of, uh, you know, stars are going to kind of align all at the same time with all these different pieces, the album, the tour, the TV show, the national sponsor. Uh, we've got another song that, um, I thought you were going to, I thought maybe you had the inside scoop on, we have collaborated with someone else as well, uh, for our upcoming project. And, uh, it's someone from here in the States and, um, you know, they, their, their name might have the word beach in it. Well, that, that's see. I'm like you. I didn't know if I was allowed to talk about that or not. So, <laughs> <laughs> but we're we're fired up about that. We got a song called Beach Boys that we're just uh, we're excited about. Yes, the Beach Boys heard it. Uh, they're jumping on the song with us, and I can't wait to have you uh, put your ears to it. This week. Yes, that's that's that. Yeah, I think that's be co- uh, that's going to be cool. So, so tell me something. Being the fact that uh, you know Nashville's been a thing for you guys for a while. Now that you're water boys, um, uh, what do you choose? Do you choose the water or do you choose the mountains? Because it kind of looks like you're getting your fishing on, and you're you know you're uh, you're uh, hunting down for. Have you been gator hunting yet? Oh, I got pet gators in my backyard, man. So, there you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. That that's all that matters. You got you got gator meat for the rest of the year, so you're good. Oh yeah. <laughs> so uh, everything kicks off. Uh, I'm they're they're saying about four o'clock. Let's see. Um, we got a list of other artists. Our buddy uh, Brandon Bing, who's a local guy, he'll be here. Patrick Gibson's going to be here. Donnie Lee's going to be here. We got uh, Randall Crawford, Adam Cunningham. Of course, he was from the uh, Voice, I believe. He was on The Voice, and we got Country Airwaves, so they'll be kicking off everything until you guys take the stage. I think I think you'll go on probably about 9 o'clock or so, so it's, uh, it's definitely going to be a good time. I, I think it's going to be packed. If I know, because uh, the concert at 2018, um, we got to sneak back on the stage and uh, actually look out into the audience, and uh, if we get any response from like that, even bigger, yeah. It's it's going to be awesome, and it's it's good to see you guys definitely being uh, headliners now. Um, it's it, it was long overdue, and um, I, how do you guys like it? I mean, do you love it? I mean, it's got to be the awesome, the most awesomest feeling ever. Go ahead, Chris. Yeah, I mean, we worked our butts off. You know how long we've been at it, dude. And uh, you know, it's 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 humbling too, man. It's it's really cool to see. You know, we've had it going on fire with like a couple number ones in a row, and then COVID hits and. Right. Kind of knocks you back to like the first number one. Yeah, and then you realize again, you're like, God, I miss, I miss the fans. I miss those people smiling at us and and just singing and, and having a good time. And I think the world needs that right now, and we're ready to do it Saturday. Definitely. Okay, guys, listen. I don't need to. Uh, I don't mean to take up uh, all your time. I know you got other things to do, but I will see you Saturday uh, out there at the uh, Popka Amphitheater. Uh, make sure you join us. Uh, Low Cash is going to be out there. They're going to be on stage about nine o'clock. It's a big. Uh, a tribute to uh, the local heroes. You're going to see 9-11 firefighters that are going to be out there uh, actually talking to you. There's going to be a, a forever wall that you can sign. Uh, there's going to be food trucks. There's going to be all kind of uh, other events. I think there's going to be some uh, ven- uh, vendors out there. So it's going to be a real good time. Plus, it's going to be, uh, you know, we're talking the 20th anniversary of 9-11. So it, it's going to be a memorable time, too. So uh, uh, look forward to seeing that and, uh, and hearing all the great music. Um, we're definitely going to keep in touch with you guys. Um, uh, you got my number. I got your number because we're going to be waiting for that uh, Beach Boys thing come around because uh, I'm getting excited for that. So uh, definitely we will see you Saturday uh, here at Apopka. And uh, make sure you're coming out and, and uh, say hi to the fellas if you get a chance or at least wave to them on stage. Uh, I think it's going to be a great show, guys. Appreciate you being uh, uh, here on Orlando's b 94com and uh, we'll definitely see you Saturday. Preston, Chris, we'll talk to you later, buddy. All right. See you, man. Well. Later. See ya. That's awesome. Make sure you come out, guys, this weekend because we are talking to Chris and Preston. Just got done talking to them. They're going to be out here Saturday at Apopka. See you then.